Distinguished professors, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, welcome on behalf of uh, Judith Varga, Minister of Justice of Hungary. Thank you very much for inviting me to the opening ceremony of the conference. Codification as a social phenomenon is almost as old as law. Several ancient civilizations had their own legal codes that encompassed private law provisions. One of the earliest known examples of uh, a codification of private law is the Code of Hammurabi, which dates back to ancient Mesopotamia, modern day Iraq, around uh, 1754 BC. The Code of Hammurabi consisted of a set of laws that governed various aspects of Babylonian society, including contracts, property rights, family law, and torts. Obviously, today's civil courts are both civil and both courts. That is to say, they are the depositaries of the ideas that have brought about the values of the bourgeois revolutions, above all equality under private law. And codes, that is, laws that contain a precise, systematic, and comprehensive set of legal norms. It was in this region that uh, one example of modern codes was born, the Austrian Civil Code in the beginning of the 19th century. The French Civil Code of uh, 1804 also had a considerable influence on the legal system of East Central Europe. The Hungarian codification movement and mainly Laszlo Szolai used as a reference in fa favor of codification. Other countries like Romania in 1865 adopted their own codes based on the French model. The later codifications, the Swiss or German, also influenced uh, the codification in our region. However, it is worth noting that while the model codes had a significant influence, they were often adapted and modified to fit the specific cultural, social, and political context of each country in East Central Europe. These civil codes were not mere replicas of Western codes, but incorporated local traditions, customs, and legal developments. Even if some passages were translations, they were still starting to live their own lives in a new environment. If the 19th century was the heyday of codification, the codes with their systematic power, power and uh, clarity have proved that they have a place in the 21st century. The internal coherence of codes, their comprehensibility, has led to the, to the creation of a series of codes in the region. Codes were burned under the Soviet-style dictatorship but not only that, interesting codes were born in the region after the change of regime. Suffice it to mention the Czech and Romanian civil codes adopted in the past decades. And also the Hungarian one was adoption 10 years. 10 years ago is commemorated by the today's event. The Ministry of Justice was an important player in the codification of civil law. Already the Hungarian partial drafts of the 19th century were prepared under the auspices of the ministry. The first complete draft was in 1900. The subsequent versions, as well as the private law bill of 1928. In the context of codification efforts, the name of Béla Sassi should be mentioned who was responsible for the 1928 draft and who was State Secretary of the Ministry of Justice from 1919 to uh, 1931. Ironically, 
the modern Hungarian code wasn't only adopted in 1959, when the text of the code was stamped by the Soviet-style dictatorship. Despite this, the authors of the, the code retained a great many civic values and uh, ultimately created a quality code that could uh, remain in force after the change of regime with relatively few amendments. Following the change of regime, there was a transi transitional, transitional period which did not yet favor a streamlined codification. However, at the end of the Hungarian transition period, work could begin a new code under the leadership of Professor Lajos Vekas, who is here today. In all Hungarian codification efforts during the time, very serious comparative legal analysis has been carried out within the ministry and the, and the, the different expert bodies. There is a lot, of, lot to be learned even from the solutions that have not been adopted. Codification is both seeking identity and at the same time trying to save the unique, the specific. Today's conference will examine the issues of the drafting, structure, structure and content of civil law codes. There are many original solutions but also a number of models which are transferring from one legal system to another. The codes need, be, need to be modernized from time to time. There is also room for innovation. I'm sure that today's conference will be a forum for the flow of knowledge, scholarship, and good ideas. The scientific dialogue is important in itself, but it also has practical significance for us as the ministry responsible for, the, for legislat <coughs> legislation. By listening uh, to each other and learning from each other, uh, we can design better legislation. I think my colleagues from the ministry who are here for this event. But above all, I would like to thank the distinguished professors present for their valuable contributions to this conference. Thank you for your attention and I wish you good work.